just in overall thoughts on the performance? Oh, disappointing, you know. I, I know we can fall into that bit of cliche of a game of two halves, but um, no, disappointing, you know. We were coming here in the week, you know, we trained well, but, you know, the start uh, by Leeds were, was fantastic for Brighton. They broke us uh, in all shapes, uh, more so out wide, uh, missed a lot of tackles, and we just kept chasing it, you know, and then. You know, in all fairness, I thought physically at set piece, I thought that was a plus in the whole game, you know. Um, but again, that's not going to win win you games. Uh, I guess that was a plus, whereas previously, you know, we've been driven over all shapes and, and crumbled. And I thought just before half time, you know, a bit unfortunate, I thought it was a, a penalty try. Not, you know, people could say, well, that doesn't make no difference again, but it'd been going in that 42 14, and then we come out and we managed to score the three tries, and yeah, it does make a difference, but, you know, a lot of credit and a lot of sort of respect to the to, to our whole squad because you know they could have rolled over which is something they never do you know but I just want us to do that from the start and not the second half so why do you think you couldn't get going in that first half that first 20 uh, possession possession was a big thing you know we didn't see we we missed uh, a couple of line outs they, they capitalize on that uh, and just ridiculous amount of miss miss one-on-one -on -one tackles you know and and that was a big difference and then second half we seemed to rectify that uh, I thought our set piece functioned a lot better and I also thought you know we seemed to tighten up on, on our defense but you know game's over then isn't it when you're 42 points down you know 42 to 17 half time you know it's uh, game over really but you could have crumbled and totally capitulated which you didn't you were very strong in that second half so how pleased are you and what positives do you take from that I think that's the, dis the most disappointing part I agree with you I, I felt second half yeah we scored three tries but I thought we squandered another two you know and you think Gosh, we should have scored five tries second half which which again is a credit and keep working so yeah there's that about it and, and I th you know within the squad and the environment we got you know we'd be in on Monday morning and and again, putting our hands up and fair play. We're lucky with that respect that people are on us. We don't pass a buck. And that's a big thing sometimes, isn't it? You know, and like I keep saying, you know, we got not uh, Bedford now home in two weeks. And, you know, we got to play with that enthusiasm and that uh, appetite and certainly the desire, which we showed in the second half today. Do you, is the break good for you or you want to be getting straight out next Saturday or do you need a couple of weeks? No, I think we're, we're managing to have a couple of the players back from injury, but then it's just those knocks. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're happy to take this week now to build again uh, and move forward, yeah. Are you overall for the last couple of weeks, but it's back into league action, happy where you are with a win last week, even though this one's a defeat? Yeah, no, of course, we needed a win last week. Yeah. And then we got three home games that we've spoke about and we got to go after those three home games. So, look, you know, we, we just got to get... I think, we, as Dallas it sounds, we are getting better, believe it or not. I thought, you know, that the second half showed the, the different thing. We just got to marry our dominance up front with the possession we have. I think we got to get that balance right. That would be a big thing.